Hi there, church family. Um, you'll know if you've been around in the last few prayer meetings, I've started to use the language of leading for recovery versus leading for um, endurance. Uh, in the summer, when Boris said that everything was going to get back to normal by Christmas, and as restrictions started to ease, eat out to help out, and the sort of language coming out of the, um, the cabinet. I think lots of us got caught up in the excitement um, of that. Um, and we had a plan in our heads, didn't we, about a trajectory back to normal. You know, how could we go back to the way things uh, were? And we started to have an attitude where we thought, well, let's just get them through the next few weeks. Then we'll have a big party. And then everything goes back to sort of the way it was um, pre-COVID. And that is what you might call a leading full recovery mindset. But obviously, as the reality of the autumn has now set in, and as anxiety and risk levels are on the uh, on the rise again, uh, it seems obvious to me anyway that recovery is not in sight. Uh, back to normal is not coming anytime soon. And therefore, um, I think actually the wiser of those two mindsets is an endurance position that says, actually, we need to start um, planning for this thing to be around for the next 12, 18 months. And we need to make decisions now for the long term. And so with, with that in mind, um, I am conscious that there are a decent group of families in the hall um, who've now been doing church in a very sort of second class way for the last two months. Uh, alongside that, we have had one or two Sundays where we've run out of room um, in the church, um, I think almost to the, the stage of having to turn people away. Um, and of course, with Christmas coming up, we'd love to think that we could create some space in the church for um, maybe a Christmas guest services. Uh, we'd love to have space for new people to join our church, as well, of course, of sending the signal of saying that actually the physical gathering, there's something really important of that compared to gathering together virtually, unless, of course, there's some sort of medical um, reason for that. And so for all of those reasons, it does seem sensible now to start um, thinking about splitting our morning service into two services, one at 9.30 and one at 11 o'clock, just to create that little bit of space that we need. Uh, what, we, what we plan to do is probably a, a, to run Sunday Club at the moment, that's reception to year four just at the moment, um, in, during that first service, the 9.30 service, and to plan to run Pathfinders, which at the moment is year five to year nine during the second service. And then with the hope that the rest of the church family, who are not affected by those two groups, might split off across those two services. And of course, we've put additional COVID measures in place. Um, some seats designated as 9.30 seats, other seats designated as 11 o'clock um, seats. Uh, Bibles quarantined that have been used, uh, wiping of services between the two meetings. Now, I'm aware that there will be lots of snags and compromises. Um, I think it's less than ideal for us um, not to be able to meet together as one whole church family. Of course, there'll be some people for whom the, the new timings are not, not great either. Uh, we'll need, obviously, more people to serve in various ways. You think of the welcome team, you think of the bands. And so at this stage, I just really wanted to put this out for consultation and feedback with the hope if there was a sort of positive response to that and people could see where we were coming from with the aim perhaps of moving to the new pattern sometime at the beginning of November, maybe Sunday the 1st or Sunday the 8th of November. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, you, you can give me a call, you can send an email to the church office. Uh, please let us know if you think that this is a sensible next step or whether you think this is, um, this is a mistake. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you in advance for your thoughts and your feedback.